Today we're going to be demonstrating our SRU system on a Siemens GMI 15 kV breaker. For this application, we will install two shoulder bolts, which you see right here, as well as a color code sticker on the cubicle that's going to coincide with the bracket. Simply install these two shoulder bolts, which will hold the bracket in place using these two notches. fits on like that. Next we'll get our tool adapter and made it to our MDU. To do so we just lift up on the collar, slide it in and it locks in place. Next you'll want to get the battery, press the button to check for the bars, make sure you got four bars and then mount it to the back. You'll notice there's a locking pin on the bracket which will hold the motor in place simply lift up and turn it a quarter of a turn to hold it in place once in place twist and it'll lock itself into place once installed the racking tool will push the interlock sleeve that's on the racking shaft of the cubicle back so that the breaker may be moved in and out of position. Next you'll want to get your 50 foot cord and plug it into the MDU. These connectors are key so it'll only fit one way. Next get your bracket and plug it into the motor as well. And you'll get the other end of the cable and put it into the handheld. Simply twist to turn on the unit. You'll notice a welcoming screen as well as the breaker type and color code on the screen. We'll show this again. Right there you'll notice the breaker type as well as the color code. Next, you'll want to verify that the door is shut and everything is properly latched. Verify your safe distance away from the cubicle. And then next, you'll want to pick your position. Whether you're in the connect position and you want to disconnect the breaker, or if you're in the disconnect position and you want to put the breaker in service. is going to do a quick check to make sure you're in the correct position before beginning. It's also going to slowly pull the breaker out in case there's any hang up or stall. You'll notice a peak power at the top of the screen. What this does is just a preventative measure in case the peak power goes above 110, as you notice, it could be a couple of things. It could be a it's not function with a racking screw or possibly a breaker jam. In that case, the breaker will go into recovery mode. As the racking, the racking gets towards the end of the turn count, it's going to slow itself down. And now it's slowly going to look for the hard stop. It's going to let you know that the breaker is in fully in disconnect position. Simply press the button in. Disconnect the bracket from the motor. 
as well as your 50 foot cable. Lift up the locking pin and the motor will just pop right out as such. And simply lift up to remove the bracket from the breaker.